Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome. So um, here we are once again, <clears throat> ready to get started with a new lesson. Um, so tonight is going to be a little bit different, I think, because, yeah, we all know about, well, I think, I assume we all know about what just happened. Um, so hopefully, you know, everything works smoothly and there are no um, highlights or no problematic situations going on. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing great and, <clears throat> you know, everything is okay at uh, um, your houses. So, um, yeah. So I am paying back my debt with basically all of you guys. However, there is one person that is missing and it's Leslie. You are the only one that I haven't paid back. Um, so yeah, I am still owing Sorry. you. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one that I, I haven't paid yet. So yeah, please, you know what, any, any moment, any point in the class, you may send me your info. I need only the number where you need the top up and uh, the company. And if you want a regular top up or a package, but okay. Okay, boy. <laughs> Move in. <laughs> so talking about, uh, well, the situation we just lived, I don't know. Was it like sensitive where you guys live? Were you able to feel the, the earthquake or the, um, the movement? ¿Lo sintieron ustedes el, el temblor? ¿Fue sensible en donde ustedes viven? Sí. Maybe. Horrible. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, um, it was, I mean, those situations are pretty tough. However, today I feel amused, to be honest. I was at a supermarket when it happened. Um, I was about to get a sugar deposit, if I can call it that. It's, you know, a, just a, a pot where I will put sugar afterwards. Uh, but the thing is that um, I was there, you know, just waiting for for the cashier to um, to get my 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 things and all. And uh, I saw how many people just started running. However, I don't know. I, to be honest, I always have wanted to experience a situation as such, but I wanted to see how people will react. To be honest, I am pretty weird when it comes to those kind of desires, but I wanted to see how people would react, you know, to see if maybe they would like, um, I don't know, <clears throat> try to get as many things as possible and just run with everything out. I don't know. I thought I was going to see, I will see something like that. But no, today I was surprised to see that most of the people, they just stood there. And of course, some of them ran. But they ran and forgot about everything. Like they just run, you know, they just went for it. They they wanted to get out of there. In my case, I just stood there for a little bit. Um, I was, as, as I said, I was first in line waiting for the cashier to charge me for my things, which he never did because he also ran. He was very um, scared, I, I assume. Um, but yeah, the thing is that I am also surprised when I got into the road and I saw that people were driving yes but calmly there were no accidents there were no rushings so what i'm trying to say is that i'm proud i'm proud of what i saw and i'm proud of how um you know the people reacted so hopefully it was the same around you guys there were no like you know accidents afterwards and uh, everything just worked fine so hopefully it was the case for all of you um yes leslie um ¿Cuál es el número, teacher? Porque no sé, lo estaba buscando en el grupo. <risa> es Oscar Segovia. Es el ah, ok. Ajá. El que está ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, es que no lo ubicaba por los lentes. Ah, sí, <risa> es que... Ok. Sí, en realidad los lentes no son necesarios. Estos solo son unas facetas. Son este, como cuando Batman se pone la máscara. Honestamente, <risa> okay. no, de verdad. Eh, in my case, I don't, need, I don't need glasses. I don't wear glasses. But the thing is that I, I wear them here because I want to protect my eyes from the light, the, the blue light. Um, so yeah, that's why I wear glasses here. But yeah, thing is that I was, I feel proud. I feel proud of what I saw and I feel proud of, um, you know, the reaction that people had because it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot, lot worse. Tonight was uh, quite an experience. I think I was very young when I first lived something like this. 
but um hopefully you know you and your families as i said before are doing okay and um uh, everything is working smoothly um i hope there are no big things going on in the country i have heard about some situations here in san miguel because well it was really close from here like the um what you call it the main point of the earthquake was very close from here so there have been like some disruptions in the hospital and also in the um army um in el cuartel so yeah there have been a few things going on there but it's not something too bad so hopefully everything is going to continue to be like that but well tonight we're not here to talk about you know sad things necessarily however if you feel like doing so if you feel like sharing something it's okay you know it's an open space you can um have some confidence with us and it's it will be okay Ya me, ya me siento como si estoy viviendo una reunión de alcohólicos anónimos. Pero bueno, so. I'm just, I have a question. Oh, yes. You use the word smoothly. What is the mm -hmm. meaning? Smoothly yeah. is used when uh, you want to say that uh, las cosas salieron eh, bien. O sea, como smooth es algo suave, ¿verdad? Entonces, smoothly sería para referirnos a que todo salió, eh, digamos, chévere. Tranquilo. Sí, tranquilo. Ajá. O sea, it's like a más... S S M O O T H R Y L Y. Yes, smoothly. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll send it on the chat as well for those who want to have it. I think the only thing is that we have a double O, smoothly. Yeah. So yeah that double word o. you yeah that word you use when um when you're talking about things you know that you consider or want to work um nicely it's it's a similar it's a similar word to saying something like that so yeah smoothly i think i have used it before i think when i talk about the weekends i have also said that you know your weekend went smoothly or i hope your weekend goes smoothly yeah and i wanted to ask you since then uh-huh so yeah it's a, it's a word <laughs> that you used to to refer to that to um like things working properly in english it's easier for me to explain what it means in spanish it's like i don't find a word you know for that specific use but in english it's just as um, you expect things to work properly or you expect that things are working properly so that's when you use the word smoothly um like for example you can use it when people ask you how are you which was the first practice that we had um if somebody comes to you and asks you like how are you you can well oh, it's, everything is smoothly so you can say that everything is you know, going as planned or going great. Basically, that will be the meaning of the word in um in English. So yes. yeah. Okay, but uh we have oh so here you are. All right. De dos dólares quiere el paquete dice Leslie. Miren, ven cómo se pasan va. No, dos días dice. ¿Cómo se pasan va? Sí, no dijo mentira. Uno le da la mano y no hombre y así se va. <laughs> el otro se cobra por ti, ¿cómo es? Por, uh, por Shiba Wallet. No, nah, just kidding. No, sí, do, <laughs> dos días es que dice. Pero yo vi el dos días y dije, ah, los dólares quiere. Bueno, um, so I'll do that after the class, Leslie. So okay. the thing is that um, for tonight, the question that I have is about um, what was the last place you visited, like as a tourist, okay? Not like when you went to the market. Please don't mention that. But what was the last place you visited as a tourist? And what did you like the most about that place? So that is the question for tonight. That is what we're going to be sharing. And afterwards, we're also going to talk about, well, to finish basically the topic of, um, you know, uh, what do you look for in a city? And um, yeah, so for now is what was the last place you visited? And what was your favorite aspect about the place? Or what was your favorite experience um, in that place? We are going to start by hearing from, let's see, Imelda. Let's hear from you. So tell us, what was the last place you visited and how was it? Why me? <laughs> mm -hmm. I just felt like it. <laughs> I, I, well, I I don't remember, teacher. It was a uh, Haven't you been to ago. the beach lately or something? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, it was uh, the first day of 2021. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I went to the beach with my with my family, and I liked it because uh, it was the first time that we 
have a gathering I guess is gathering gathering yeah so that it was the amazing three days oh that, okay so you got some cash going on there all right <laughs> well, well it was a, a invitation yeah nice. oh okay well <laughs> nice yeah that's nice you know it, yeah. it was after the pandemic right yeah yeah 2021 yeah, but, but but is is um tiene un buen significado para mí no sé cómo se dice uh it is meaningful meaningful, meaningful to me because uh, later was a uh, a year mm -hmm. with uh, mm, uh with a lot of difficult mm -hmm. uh, and so we started fine we can say that and but the process of the year it was very difficult yeah but here i am yeah, that's, I mean, it's it's an important part, you know, to keep on going. Basically, that's it. So uh, when we talk about that, you can say difficulties or you can also say struggles. You know, it was a year after a year with a lot of struggles. See, sí, un montón de okay. como complicaciones, struggles. Um, so yeah, yeah, difficulties or struggles. Um, Great. So, well, that's nice, you know, going to the beach with friends and enjoying your time on the first days of the year. I did something very similar this year. It was not the first days because I went on January 13th, from the 13th to the 16th, I think it was. Um, I also went to Guatemala. That was at the very beginning because that was from the 4th to the 7th. Uh, but yeah, it's it's meaningful sometimes when you have the chance, you know, to start your year with that, with family, with friends, with the people you love. And um, yeah, just moving on afterwards. So... Great, nice. Okay, moving on. Let's hear now from Claudia. Claudia Iraita. In your case, what was the last place you visited as a tourist? And what did you like the most about such place? Good evening, teacher. Evening. Um, maybe the time I went to Hotel Entrepinos. It was about this time, two years ago. Mm -hmm. I went with my family and spent a, a good time. All because right. eh, no somos como se dice en inglés, no somos muy unidos. Uh, we're not very close. Sería close. Okay. Palabra, eh? and, All right. Eh, Yes. <laughs> well, of course, when you have times like that, you know, when you um have the chance to be with people that you don't see very often, or in this case, it was your family and you're not like that close with your family, it's great. And it's also, as um Imelda said, it has like a very meaningful thing to it because um you get to spend time with people that maybe you don't share as much with. So nice. Very nice. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for sharing. How about you, Lorena? When was the last time you visited a place as a tourist? And uh, what was meaningful or important about it? Maybe um, th those, this uh, panoramic, panoramic uh, route. route. Yeah, I yeah. went to Los Llanitos. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a beautiful place, really, really nice. It was the cold, cool, cold, <laughs> and it was like when we uh, be there, it was you can take pictures and we, you can see. So you can, you can, you could saw the, you could see the the mm -hmm. the view. But some I don't know, one hour later, you can you couldn't see anything. It was all all white and was Cloudy. fresh. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. I like it. And the place is, is the food is <clears throat> very nice. And, and we went celebrating Father's Day. Uh huh. And we enjoy it. All right. So I've been to um the panoramic route three times. Once the first time was with my girlfriend. The second time was with my uh, one uncle and my sister. 
And the third time was for my sister's birthday because she liked it very much. So the thing is that the first two times that I went there, it was all beautiful. It was all sunny. Like it was great. But for my birth, for my sister's birthday, it was cloudy. And uh, the thing is that it was also the first time that my dad had the chance to go, or at least the first time that he made the decision to go. And it was a disappointment. So it was kind of sad because I wanted him to see, you know, the, the beauty of the all the views because, yeah, it's it's yeah. great to see the lake and everything. Um, but yeah, sadly, it wasn't the case. We didn't have the chance, you know, to share with him or to yeah. let him see <laughs> the beauty of the um, of the view. But yeah, it's it's th those are things that happen. At least you got to enjoy the first hour of your time yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's great. Very nice. Yeah, that sounds like a nice idea or like a nice, you know, thing to do with um with friends and family. Um so great. Very good. All right. How about we hear now from um Jenny? In your case, Jenny, what was the last place you visited as a tourist? And like what was the takeout from it? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I uh, last year I visit the the beach with my family, mm -hmm. specifically the Costa del Sol. In fact, uh, the beach is not my favorite places to visit. I preferred the mountain, but uh, for my allergies, it's better <laughs> the coast. Okay. Well, yeah, that's. I mean everybody has a preference i am very divided when it comes to deciding whether to be a mountain or a beach person i enjoy the beach a lot here in in the west i mean in the eastern side of the country we have some beautiful beaches i normally recommend you guys if like for example you're the kind of people who is afraid of the beach because you have had um bad experiences um at your coasts Les digo así porque de verdad son sus costas, ¿verdad? ¿De qué lado? O sea, no son mis costas. So your coasts, they are dangerous. I am afraid of getting into the beach when I go to Costa del Sol, El Mahawal, any of those. I am afraid of them. Um, If you ever want to enjoy a beach where you can be calm and relaxed, there is one here in La Unión that is, uh, it's named El Hawaii. It's basically like going to a lake. You know, the, the waves there are not violent at all. Is uh in at the Gulf, so of course it's way calmer than the regular beach. However, if you want to enjoy um like the beach and the waves and everything, there are two options: El Espino, but not in the like populated area, more to the um like to the right. Yeah, there is a turn um at the right, so you take a turn, you know, to the right and drive for almost like. 20 minutes. There are still ranches there. There are still like, you know, people who, who rent you um, a tent there. And it's way more enjoyable because being away from the people and also the beach is way, way cooler. Um, and also El Cuco. So if you are one of the people, one of those people who is afraid of going to the beach because you have had a bad experience, those are three options that I will highly recommend because I understand. I have been there. I am very afraid of going to La Barra de Santiago because I almost drowned there uh, last, I mean, at the beginning of the year. La vez esa que les comenté que fui con mi familia el 14, el 14, el 16, casi me ahogo en La Barra de Santiago. Así que sí, yo le tengo miedo de verdad a las playas. Pasando de Usulután para allá, no thank you. Sí, de verdad que yo no sé. It's, 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 it's weird. It's a tiny country, but still, it's a huge difference. But well, um, moving on, and uh, hopefully, you know, it will it will be amazing, Jenny, if you will, you know, have a chance to like, um, get a cure or something to treat your allergies, because in that <laughs> case, you will be able to enjoy um the mountain a little bit better. But well, moving on, let's see now if we can hear from uh, Elizabeth. How about you? What was the last place you visited as a tourist, and what was your favorite aspect about it? Hello. Hello there. Um, I visited uh, San Juan del Sur in Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful beach, but the water is very cool. <laughs> and almost and uh, go uh, be the be uh Morena. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, got beaten and. 
that is scaring me. <laughs> and that night, uh, there are really nice and the beach party and fireworks and yes, get that. All right, sounds fun. Sounds like a lot of fun because yeah, I mean, some places are gems, hidden gems in in um in some terms. Because yeah, I mean. Sometimes you go there just expecting, you know, to have some fun, to be at the beach and stuff. But then they surprise you with that, with fireworks and stuff. And yeah, it, I assume that it will be great. I have, I have only seen fireworks at the beach once. And it was actually in El, in el Parque, in el, La Libertad. I don't remember the name, but yeah, at that park. Um, but it is nice and, and enjoying, you know, the night at the beach if you have never done it before i highly recommend that as well because it is so calming to hear like the waves and everything i know that maybe some people get scared because of tsunamis and stuff but uh like i don't know i feel like it's great you know if you ever have the chance to spend the night at the beach i will uh, enormously recommend it so yeah let's well, say morena in spanish morena um sí. los peces los, los, los que muerden no sé morena son peces ok Fish. Ajá. es que sí son peces es que allá el agua estaba muy helada entonces empezaron a irse para la orilla uh -huh. y casi me muerde una hasta que un señor con una varita le pegó son unos peces bien feos verdad Sí, tienen así, a una señora gringa, sí, la mordió el tobillo Ajá. y se lo sacó peor. Se dice Maurina. 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 Uh -huh. Maurina. Parece el nombre de alguien. Ya, yeah. de hecho, Maurina fish. Maurina. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty weird fish. I had never seen that before. Okay, yeah, it's Maurina fish. Be careful with that if you guys ever go to Nicaragua. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> it's a water sur. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Let's hear now from uh, Leslie. How about you? What was the last place you visited as a tourist? And what was the highlight from that visit? Okay. Uh, four years ago, I went to <clears throat> Cayos Cochinos in Honduras mm -hmm. for four days. Um, it is um, a very special experience for me because uh, it was my first trip alone. So... Mm -hmm. I love the sea um, and all the places are so beautiful. Um, I love, I love um, almost everything. Just the only thing <laughs> is that uh, I don't get it. You to eat rice, sweet. It's disgusting. <laughs> okay. Oh, horrible, si sí, no sé cómo pueden comer arroz dulce. <laughs> y eso es común, o sea, es como era como en todos los tiempos o era algo especial en alguna sí, comida nada más. en todos los tiempos, en el desayuno comían arroz con plátanos así como tostones uh -huh. eh, y ponían dulce. un pescado, ajá, y, y dulce el arroz y lo ponían frijoles, pero era dulce. Y en el almuerzo, igual dulce, yo no podía, o sea, eso no fue, que Captain, quería... no fue en el Captain Morgan o sí. Eh, no. Ah, okay. en, en todos los callos, así en, en restaurantes. Es que por Ajá. lo general es por la parte de la costa, porque eso es un boca, es un preparado peruano. Ah. Entonces, es como están más del otro lado. Sí, o sea, de Caribe, pero horrible. De ahí todo es súper rico. Ok. I'll keep it in mind, because, yeah, my, me and my family were planning to go there in December for, because of my sister's graduation. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'll keep that in mind. I'll, I'll, I'm taking notes about, you know, like... Um... Ah, mantequilla. A la, a la crema uh -huh. de comer, allá uh -huh. le dicen mantequilla. Entonces, si usted pide mantequilla, le van a dar crema. Crema. <laughs> okay. Okay. Taking notes. Great. All right. So, um, would you recommend it, Leslie? Huh? <laughs> would you recommend it? Would you recommend people to visit Cayos Cochino? Yeah. It's so beautiful. Just that. All right. All right. <laughs> Great. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Alrighty then. How about the case of you, Luis? Tell us, where was the last place you went as a tourist? And what was your favorite aspect about it? Good evening. Evening. <clears throat> yes, the last place I visited was with my sister and my niece. Mm -hmm. We went to visit the Boquerón and we visited... Uh, restaurant that uh, we saw <clears throat> uh, 
a Paul Dog San Bernardo, beautiful dog. It seems uh, bears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, beautiful dog. But <clears throat> the point is that I was impression impressioned uh, impressed? that impressed that we 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 were in a place where we are above the clouds. So yes, we we saw the clouds and the top to the down to mm -hmm. the, the that impressed to me that that view beautiful. Okay, beautiful. The great. Weather, very cold and the food good too. Yeah. All right. That, that was the last place I visited a few weeks ago, and uh, it was beautiful, yes. All right, nice. So if you ever want to feel like that again, if you ever want to uh, feel like you're above the clouds and all that, there is a road um, in... Uh, what? No, Son Sonate. Yeah, it's in Son Sonate. It's a road that connects La Barra de Santiago and, or, I mean, a place close to La Barra de Santiago, and uh, Ataco, yeah, Concepcion de Ataco. So there is a road that connects those two places and you can experience a very similar thing. It's basically every day. I have, I mean, this weekend I told you that I was going to go there, you know, to watch a pan. I have been there a few times because it's, you know, a family member who has a house there and he ha loves to have us. Um, so we normally go to Ataco. And this weekend we did as well. And we were able to experience it once again. It is great. I have also lived that or experienced that in Berlin. In I mean, on the road from Alegría to Berlin, you can also experience the same feeling. Um, I was very young when I felt I first uh, felt that, and it's so nice to like um, get your hand out of the car or if you stop, you know, for a little, and just feel how wet the clouds feel. And it's very different from experience um, moisture, like the regular moist that we have. Um, it is very, very different. So yeah, it's, it's a nice experience. I have been there before. I have experienced, sorry, I have experienced that before. And, uh, I can say that it is great to like, you know, have that, uh, um, that emotion, if we can call it that. So yeah, nice. Very nice. All right. How about the last person of the night? We're going to hear from you, Carla. How, um, sorry. Thing is. What was the last place you visited as a tourist and what is a highlight from such visit? Hi, teacher. Hey there. Uh, well, the last place that I visited as a tourist was a place in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Uh, it was San Antonio Beach. I mean, it's a beautiful place, uh, but I have to say uh, it had two parts of the beach because one part of this beach is inside uh, of the park San Antonio, San Antonio Park. Mm -hmm. And this part was my favorite because uh, there aren't any person or people there. Uh, use one or three uh, persons. Mm -hmm. And the other part uh, that was outside of this park mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of people and if you want to use um, a chair uh, you have to pay for that if you want an umbrella because the sun is is really hot uh, you have to pay for that uh, yes this was something that i really didn't like but the place is really beautiful and I recommended this place because it's really uh, beautiful. And there are a lot of animals mm -hmm. like lazy squirrels, a lot of kind of bears. Um, and well, I recommended this place, but you have to, to, to take a lot of money <laughs> to travel to this place because Costa Rica is yeah, a country, is an expensive country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I have heard. Well, so. that's all. All right, great. So, uh, Park San Antonio in Costa Rica. Great. 
Sounds amazing. Sounds like uh like what an experience. And I do know I haven't I haven't really been to Costa Rica, but my sister has, and she says that it is very expensive. She's actually going once again now in August, I think. Um, so yeah, we are getting our pockets ready because it's gonna be um, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. But yeah, nice. Okay, so thank you guys very much for sharing. Now we are going to continue talking about going out because we are. And uh, now what we're going to share is basically just finishing this section over here, which is describing a city or describing, you know, the things that um, make a city. And uh, last night we got to nightlife, which we were saying that nightlife basically refers to um, what are some of the activities that you can perform during the night at certain cities. And if, for example, these cities are recommended or if, cities are recommended because of their nightlife because in my case i will not recommend any city around here um the only one will probably be usulutan uh it's on saturday nights they have something similar to paseo el carmen but here it's paseo el calvario so it's it's similar to that um but yeah it's basically one night during the whole week so it's not like super active during the night not like other, you know, other places you can visit. So <clears throat> nightlife, it is important for many people. In my case, if I ever go to a, a city, I have discovered that I love cities that have nightlife or like, you know, um, activities to do at night. All right, then scenery. Esta palabra así se pronuncia, okay? Scenery. So scenery, what do you guys think scenery stands for? What do you think the scenery is? Ya sé, diferente va. Anoche se estaban participando, como les había regalado dinero. Pero así son todos. Así Hay se... que otra vez regalar dinero. Así se portan. <laughs> ah, bueno. No. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about we hear from you, Avi? What do you think scenery is? Um, uh, like a uh, scenario, but I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, Lorena? Like yours? Zero, what are you going to say? It's a play with the short, the, the comedy. Hmm. Interesting idea, but we're going to stick with the views because, yeah, when we talk about scenery, we refer to um, something special in the area. Like, it's not only landscapes, because if it was only landscapes, we'll say it straight up landscapes. But sometimes we refer to scenery as a whole. Like, for example, there are cities that have like a lot of flowers and that makes them attractive. There are other cities that are like rough cities, like abandoned cities, uh, and that makes them attractive for some people. There are other cities that maybe, um, what? They have like farolitos, you know, like um, post lights. So that may also make the city attractive. There are also cities that may have like, what? Like a fountain, you know, a special fountain, and that will make it attractive. So scenery can stand for all things that are part of the views that people have. So not only natural not natural views, not only like if you go to a lake, like if we will mention uh, La Ruta Panoramica, it's not only that. It's not only that you can see um, the beauty of nature, but it just stands for basically all the things that you can admire at a city. Like there are other cities that have tons of murals, like a lot of uh, paintings and stuff. And that is what people get to enjoy about visiting those places. So, you know, there are different things that um, you can get to see. Bueno, um, how about shopping? What do you guys understand by shopping? The malls. Mm -hmm. Great idea. The malls. Great, great, great. What else can we say about shopping? Abby, I saw your mic was coming on. Um, is places where we can show a uh, buy or maybe sell something. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. So yeah, there are places and uh, it is actually very common to see that there are places around the world where you can go and like the markets are huge. And there are others that are also very specific for some items because, for example, if you want to get a specific jacket and uh, that jacket is probably only going to be sold at... I don't know, a market in Minnetonka, let's say. It's a place that I know, so it just came to my mind. Um, so yeah, that can be part of why you go there. Or that is a very good example. Actually, I, I didn't think, think of that. Uh, many people come to Minnesota, the state where I used to live, because of the mall. Because there is the biggest mall in the U.S. It's called the Mall of America. And it's huge okay it's it's actually huge it's not like an exaggeration it's a very very big mall um so many people travel from different places in the u.s just to go there it doesn't really have like tons of um promos or things or discounts but you know people come to it just because it is the biggest mall in america so a ton of uh like the visitors that come to minnesota they don't come for nothing different than the mall there are actually many hotels around the mall. The mall is situated like 15 minutes away from the city, but there are many hotels around the mall because many people come to the um, to the mall and they stay at hotels. And the next day, you know, they just go back to the mall. And like, that's the trip that many people like to take. Um, I don't think it's attractive. I don't think it's like, you know, the best thing in the world. I would not do it if I was those people. But they like it. They come to live that experience. In my case, I had the chance to go there basically every other weekend, and I didn't really find it um, too exciting. Honestly, ahora que ya estoy como un poquito más maduro, verdad, que ha pasado un tiempo, me me quedo pensando. Hubiese sido genial hacer un blog acerca de todas las visitas que le hice al de, al, al bendito mall, porque pues iba casi todos los fines de semana, iba casi como que un fin de semana de por medio, y siempre había cosas diferentes. Pero, o sea, yo iba, iba solo, me iba en el, en el bus, en el tren, como pudiera. Entonces, y, o sea, siempre experimentaba cosas distintas. Y ahora a veces me pongo a pensar en eso, en como, o sea, hubiese sido genial capturar momentos, ver cosas, eh, tomar fotos de cosas. Pero, pues sí. The good thing is that it, they now live in my brain. People would, maybe will not believe me, but now they live in my brain. Uh, but yeah, I mean, many people come to that city just because of that, just because of the mall. So it's weird, yes, but it's part of what people look for, you know, when they are going to visit a city. So now we have clarified all the aspects and we have architecture, cuisine, customs, festivals, historical sites, nightlife, scenery, and shopping. Now that we have them all clear, I want to know, I will ask each and every one of you, what is the most important aspect that you take into consideration where you, when you're going to visit a place, a new place? Do you think about the architecture? Do you think about the customs? Do you think about the scenery, the nightlife, the historical sites? What is something that will get you excited about going to a specific place? Um, let's start in order, or at least in the order that I have you guys here. So we're going to hear from Lorena. What will be the aspect, Lorena, that will get you excited the most about visiting a new city? Maybe the scenery. All scenery? right. Great. Yeah, because I like to see that. All right. Great. Nice. Very nice. How about you, Leslie? What will be the aspect that will um, inspire you or get you excited about going to a new place? The food. <laughs> All right. That sounds nice. That it's sounds the most important thing for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, that's, that sounds very, very interesting. Um, uh, how about Abby, in your case, what will be the aspect that will make you feel more like inspired or, um, make the decision to go to a new place? Um, the first, the, the food, obviously, because food is important but also um, the scenery and the nightlife because I, I love go out in night. All right, nice. So you're basically one of those owl people. Great, so that's great, that's great. I am one of those as well. I totally enjoy 
um, cities that have, you know, like activities at night or things that you can do at night, because I so much prefer to go out during the night than during the day. I am uh, basically the only one in my family. And that's why most of the time I go out alone. So, well, things that happen. How about you, Luis? What will be your, um, the thing or the aspect that will get you more excited when it comes to visiting a new, um, a new city or a new place? Definitely the market. Oh, really? Yes. How so? And this is because uh, I can, I can see that the people, all the all the people in different uh, countries, the market is the the place where we can see the the real persons of that country. If we we visit the market here in El Salvador, we can see different peoples uh, selling different uh, products and the. Uh, they they come to the interior of the country in different places, and they, that is the same in other countries. If we go to Europe and we visit uh, France, for example, mm -hmm. we can see the market. All the people uh, are the 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 realist the, the realist people mm -hmm. that live. In that country, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's right. If, if, Marie, if, oh, if, see? If, if, if we can visit the the town or downtown on the on the main cities, we can show different people from from another countries. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and you will have a different perspective of the people and of the like the culture that they have. So yeah, that is a very good point of view. I will totally take that into consideration when I visit new places because, yeah, that sounds sounds very interesting because with when you go to the market you have like the real flavor. Um, but the thing is that I me reí. Y eso se lo voy a decir en español porque espero que lo recuerden. Y espero de verdad que lo recuerden porque eso fue meme y, y fue bien bien tonto. Pero es que solo se me ocurrió alguien viniendo aquí a San Miguel y que fuese al mercado y escuchar a la señora que vende presto barbas, no sé si ustedes recuerdan eso una señora que vendía presto barbas a Cora que gritaba y así ah, oh, yes. sí para yes. que se rasturen la ya yes. saben y la ya saben ok <risa> sí. pues yes. esa señora o sea, casi que anda por todos los mercados aquí en San Miguel, o sea, y no es broma aquí en el tránsito ya la he visto quizás unas tres veces lo gracioso es que, o sea, ella eh, vive cerca de Metrocentro en San Miguel, o sea, en realidad vive bastante cerca, pero ajá, la señora como que ya le gustó, ¿verdad? Ir a diferentes mercados y como que camina a todos los pueblos y ahí anda, de vez en cuando ¿verdad? Saca su, su frase célebre, entonces es como que you are so, so, so true like, that is the true people of San Miguel, or like true people of our country, you know outgoing and uh, what ruthless if we can call them or refer to them as well as well um so yeah it's it's very true now another thing and another experience that i had is the first time i went to a market in guatemala because um the family that i have there they live in zacapa it's one of the northeastern um like departments in guatemala and uh, there are tons of like indigenous people and they those people are very small um, so when I went to the market, they will all look at me weird because I am tall. I am like 185. So I am relatively tall and they are all like 160, let's say. No, nah, 160, I think it's too tall for them. It's 150, most of the people. So I was like almost 30 centimeters, centimeters above all of them. So they will stare at me weird and they will look at me weird because I was, of course, not from there. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it was pretty evident, you know, for them that I was I was a foreigner. But the thing is that it was also a great experience. I was able to see that I wasn't fit for the market because everything, les juro que todas las cosas me quedaban abajo de la cabeza. Siempre tenía que andar así. Cuando fui al mercado de Guatemala, era como que me tenía que andar agachando en todo porque todo quedaba más abajo de mi cabeza. Y era como que um, se sentía la diferencia. O sea, como que estaba en un lugar diferente. Um, so yeah. All right. 
How about zero? In your case, what will be the um the thing that will get you excited the most when you're visiting a new place? I know architecture. Uh, okay. It has a, a finish in the wood. Nice. Yeah, I mean, architecture will happen to be a very good aspect of a, of a city or a place that when you have to visit. So, great. Very good. Josue, in your case, what will be an aspect that will get you excited about visiting a new city? Um, historical sites. Historical sites? Yes. Okay. And why will that be? Uh, maybe uh, uh, the Vatican. Hmm? Okay. Um, the, um, the Chinese wall or the All right. Great. Yeah. So, I mean, historical sites are important because they tell stories about how the city was built, what are the things that have happened in such cities. So it sounds like a great option as well. You know, looking at historic historical sites will bring you closer to knowing more about where you are and how things have turned into that. So nice. Very nice. Now, how about you, Gabriela Cortez? Uh, what will be an aspect that will get you excited about visiting a new city? Uh, good evening. In my case, I I could know the cuisine. Okay. For example, in my case, I don't have a. I never have in in la zona oriente. Mm. And, Las pupusas um, con el repollo de mayonesa. Yes. Ya van con él. <laughs> it's, it's for me interesting, but it's, I eat I delicious the pupusas, but it's, it's uh, interesting for me. No uh, eat the wait, 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 wait. Sorry. It's starting to shake. Another earthquake. Yeah, it's starting to shake here. Okay. I think it's Joseph okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. My cell phone is. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, here is. Tiene Samsung, but le avisó antes. Bueno, de hecho. But that's not. It's not nice, really. I know. Yeah, it's not nice at all. But well, yeah. things yes. that we it's that we have to get through. Okay. Um. So Imelda, I was actually going to ask you now. Um, so to continue on, what are the aspects that will get you excited about going to a new city? My idea is mixed now. <laughs> <laughs> I assume they are. Yeah. Okay. Well, si ustedes son del tipo de personas que no les gustan los temblores, nunca pidan ir a California porque sería el peor lugar para estar cuando tiemble. Okay. <laughs> I'm an, an anxious person, so. Oh, you know. okay. Well, that's well, understandable. If you want, I can come back to you later. No, no. Oh, no. okay. Well, uh, well uh, I like more the architecture for a um, historical site because I, I like to take photos. Mm -hmm. But uh, last but not least, the uh, cuisine. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think cuisine will be there for everyone because it's like a, a very interesting thing. Like, I don't know if you guys are the same, but in my case, I normally like to like do research before I go to different places so I can see like what is, you know, what they serve there. Like what are the, um, like the different dishes that they have, the classical dishes, so I can see if I would like to try that or not. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's something very interesting to to know and to also get to experience. So great. So architecture, uh, historical sites, and cuisine. Nice, very yeah. nice. All right. How about Jenny Sanchez? Si están ahí, si no, pues igual. Oh yeah, there you are. Hi. So Jenny, in your case, what will be something that will get you excited about going to a new city? Architecture, cuisine. Custom, customs and 
shopping. <laughs> hmm. All right. And uh, why shopping? Because I have to. Porque tengo que traer recuerdos. <laughs> oh, because you have to get some souvenirs. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, so getting some souvenirs. Saben que no me acuerdo bien cómo se escribe esa palabra porque bien rara. S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O-
uh, shop and, mm-hmm. and just dance. All right, sounds great. I mean, sounds like you know you get or you have your own way of enjoying things. So yeah, I mean, I think that um, capturing the beauty of the places that you visit, mostly when you travel inside a country. I think it's amazing because um, you can actually even get started in blogging your experiences. That is like a big thing nowadays. I, for example, in my case, I mean, I'm a huge um, blog consumer. I love to see like how people, you know, the, the places that they visit, how they experience different places. Even when they go to places that I have been before, I like to see how they re- how they react to the things that I have seen or um, like how are they treated when they get there if like the treatment is always the same so it's a I am a huge fan of that of like seeing what people experience and uh, honestly it's one of the biggest things that I actually consume nowadays on 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 YouTube so yeah it's it's great so think about that <laughs> all right moving on how about you Carla what is the thing that gets you the most excited when you're going to visit a new um a new city Carla se fue con el temblor. Bueno, okay. So, how about um, Jasmine? In your case, Jasmine, what will be the thing that gets you most excited when you go um, to a different city? Hello, hello. Bueno, sí, conectado, sí estoy. Okay, how about Walter then? In your case, Walter, what is the thing that gets you the most excited when you are going to visit a new city? Uh, good, good evening. Evening. Uh, for me, uh, it's important. Uh, future important is uh, archi- archi- architecture. 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 Yes. <clears throat> but okay. it's an uh, important feature. In, in the city yeah i mean because the idea behind we traveling is normally to see something different and uh, if we go to a different city and we see that the city has the same structures the same things as we see in our city every day it's kind of boring or it will be kind of boring so of course architecture plays a huge role when it comes to enjoying or having a great experience you know in um like in the on the road or in the trip so yeah it will be an amazing thing to take into consideration all the time like seeing new structures new buildings so nice very nice all right how about rosa in your case rosa what will be the aspect that will get you the most excited about traveling to a different city Saben que lo que voy a hacer ahora es que lo que no contesten va a ser al revés. Ustedes me van a pagar un dólar a mí. Okay. And, uh, well, as we didn't get an answer from uh, Rosa, let's go uh, with you, Sandra. How about you? What will be the aspect that will get you the most excited about visiting a new city? See, oh, are you there? I see that you have your mic on, but I don't, I cannot hear you. Oh, there you go. Okay, Sandra? Creo que, que el temblor dejó inestable el internet y todo. Ah, sí, parece. Porque, bueno, yeah, it seems like that. Bueno, ustedes con esas sus eh, compañías extranjeras. Vieran aquí, uno le pone un poquito de, de, de ese curtido y salsa negra al, al cable y funciona como si nada. Es la magia. Sí, es la magia, la salsita negra. No, es broma. No, es que de verdad, yo a veces, fíjense que hay, hay días en los que veo, ¿verdad? Que están ahí los demás compañeros de, de corporativo diciendo que tengo problemas con el internet, tengo problemas con el internet. Y yo, bien, galán, aquí, o sea, con mi compañía barata de, de Kido Zulután. Pero bueno things that happen so yeah well i think that will be it for tonight well a recommendation please um take care of yourselves take care of your families if you have children and and um you know um 
elderly people in your homes. Please be aware of them. Take good care of them. Uh, it seems like we're going to go through this for a while. So, yeah, please stay safe. Um, be safe. And, uh, well, if everything goes as smoothly as we wish it, it does, um, we're going to see one another here tomorrow. So hopefully everything, you know, works properly. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your night. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you here tomorrow again. So have a great night. See you tomorrow. Have a good day tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.